Hey guys, it's Natasha Berta, the online marketer with a toast. And today I'm going to just talk a little bit about YouTube. Um, I know I'm on YouTube talking about YouTube, um, but maybe you don't know, maybe you need a hand with a few little bits of functionality about YouTube. So these are some super be- basic hacks that I, I'm going to share with you. I'm just going to share my screen. Here it is. So... When you come to the YouTube homepage, um, you don't have to wait to go to your channel to upload. You can just click over here where it says upload and that automatically takes to this upload page. First thing that's good to know is um, YouTube now has this functionality where you can have unlisted and private um, videos. So an unlisted video means that it's, Anyone who has the link can see it, but they have to have the URL to get to it, whereas public will go onto your channel. So you can choose unlisted and that way you can share exclusive video content with your email list or if you have a workshop or a group program or something and you want to share video content only with them or if it's part of an opt-in, this is a really great way to get your content up. Um, There is another thing that you can look at with YouTube over here on these lines. You can go to my channel. And this allows you to look at your videos that you've uploaded in the past. You can do an artwork banner for this. I make all my um, banners and things like that in Canva, which is www.canva. Um, it's good to go there because I'm going to help explain how to make a, thumb, a custom thumbnail image. Like you can see, my videos don't have the ugly frozen face picture. Um, I've made a custom graphic and I do that in Canva using my branding colors. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So when you go to upload a video, I think we better just pretend we're going to upload one. So you can also click upload from your My Channel page. We'll make it unlisted. And I'll just find one that I can drag over. I just click and drag mine in and drop it in and away it goes. Now once you get to this page, this is taking a moment. Oh, it's taking a real moment. So video thumbnails down the bottom here, you can see it says video thumbnails. Um, And over here, there's this button custom thumbnail. Now when you click that, You can choose a custom thumbnail from a file that you have. But um, there's two ways. You can either take a screenshot from inside the video that is like a decent picture of you not going, or just even a photo of you with some text over the top, or you can go to Canva and you can make one. So in Canva, this is all the different kinds of designs they have. They have one called a YouTube thumbnail. And they also have the YouTube channel art here. So YouTube thumbnail has just got the exact pixel measurement. It's 1280 by 720 and you can go over and make yourself a spiffy image so you don't have to have an ugly as frozen face pic. Here it comes. So if you're not familiar with Canva at all, you can check out one of my other tutorials about Canva. I'm not going to go through the process of making one now, but this is basically what you would do. Um, you would get your thumbnail and then click download, download it. And then when you're back here in YouTube, you just click custom thumbnail. You'll find that in your downloads folder and you just choose it. Not that one because that's going to wig it out. Um, and it will just upload it and it will use that as your thumbnail. Now there's a lot of other features there's a lot going on with YouTube that would take way more than one video, but that's all I'm going to do today, really. This is what the name of the video is. You give a bit of a description. You've got tags. Here's the URL that the video is going to be displayed at if you need to copy and paste it somewhere before it finishes uploading because sometimes uploading takes yonks. I'm going to cancel the upload. And that's about it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed that tip. If you like this video, you can give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this or more from me, then you can subscribe to my channel. And I might do another one on annotations a bit later. They're pretty easy, but they also make a big difference to helping people move on with their customer journey with you. I hope you're having a gorgeous day. I'll see you soon. Thanks, lovelies.